Good afternoon and welcome to Tito the Trodler. One absolutely splendid, splendid day. And I'm in the Lake District. And I got thinking the other day. I've only ever been and camped while well, camped at Lake District once, and that was uh, with my mate Mr. Brown in a, a very, 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 very wet paddock town. So it wasn't the most enjoyable of camps, uh, although we made the best of it. But this time we're talking an absolutely totally different situation here. So we've got probably, well, what looks like one of the best weekends, or certainly the best weekend this year so far by a country mile. And I uh, ummed and hard for quite some time where I was going to go. So I uh, I uh, toyed with the Howgills. I thought about going to the Howgills. Um, I thought about the Yorkshire Dales. I got really, really close to going to the North Yorkshire Moors, but got a bit uh, worried because uh, I found out that Tumulus on a map means uh, burial mound and it looks like uh, I think there's people buried all over North Yorkshire Moors. Put me off a little bit did that if I'm being honest. Anyhow I decided and I've been thinking about coming on this one for quite some time I thought can I nip up to uh, Lowe's Water and climb up one of my favourite mountains Melbreck and I thought you know what let's do it. So we're here now we've just pulled up uh, we've parked up and uh, uh, the weather's absolutely splendid and for once for once get a load of this no my pack ain't any lighter my pack's still ridiculously heavy but you know we'll learn eventually i think this is going to be the last winter sort of camp after this we are going to uh, try and uh, slim down a little bit but no guess what um i'm actually uh, uh gonna try and go try try and try and just take my time because I've got um, that much uh, time on my hands. I've set off in really, really good time, which means I'm not in a rush. And now all I've got to do is get into Lake District, wild camping mode. I just take as long as I like. I can pull over, I can sit down, I can have a drink, I can do whatever I like. Uh, weather's absolutely fine. It's only about one o'clock, so not even that, maybe even earlier than that. So um, I'm in absolutely no rush. And to be honest with you, I don't want to pitch too early. But yeah, we're going up Melbrecker. I don't know if you can see it. I'll spin it round. That's uh, that's the hill that we're going up. So it's going to be quite a quite a bit of a tug. But like I say, we're going around the far side of it, and then we're going to circumnavigate, and then come to the back of it. So it shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, really looking forward to it. And I'm glad you're along for the journey. I hope you enjoy it. Right, so we're here at the side of Crumbuck Water. This is absolutely stunning. Just let me show you this. Look at that, looking at Ronadale dots, and up towards uh, Fleetworth Pike. But yeah. Absolutely stunning. So we're going to go around the side of this and then um, up around the back of Melbreck and then climb up the other side. But yeah, this is just a absolute pleasure. It's quite busy down here. I've got to say people swimming and all sorts. I don't blame them. Could do with it myself. But uh, yeah, just stunning. Right, we're, uh, we're starting to climb a little bit now. We're uh, just uh, underneath the face of uh, Melbreck. So that, if you're really brave, you could go up the short side, but we're not doing that today, not with this pack on. So I'm circ circumnavigating around the other side, and then we come up uh, past Mosdale back, which is, uh, and we started to wonder whether I made a bit of mistakes. I'm carrying water, and I think I could have probably got it just before I started properly climbing towards the end. So I might say I'm sending an awful lot of effort, because this pack is heavy, but, um, like I say, I think uh, I'm trying to give myself a comfort camp and I've got to let go of my comforts. We're definitely going to uh, assess on this trip again regarding uh, what we can manage without so we can lighten the pack and we're really going to have a serious screw down on uh, how we make this pack, pack lighter. But uh, just moseying along really, not really rushing. It's about half past one. So just, uh, you know, weather's more or less perfect. I'm a little bit sweaty because obviously I'm going uphill, but it's not over hot. 
it's just right, it's just really right, it's just very, very pleasant, no breeze whatsoever. Now, I should imagine they will be on top, but certainly at the moment it's a uh, perfect in Mundo. So, uh, we'll keep you posted, catch up in a bit. Whoa, right, right around the other side of Melbrecht now. I'm hoping we're at least uh, halfway, of the, halfway up the climb on this side. In all fairness, it's, uh, it's a good steady pull, especially with the size of the pack, but um, it's not ridiculous. It's just you sort of like uh, to slowly climb, climb up the side of it. So it's, uh, you know, nice and steady upside of, I think it's Moresdale Beck. Uh, there's been a couple of places I could have stopped and got water from, so that'd have been useful. But um, still probably a long walk in, even with, you know, they can't mess around. So I don't know whether I'm better or worse off. And it's too late now anyhow, so, but uh, yeah, the sun keeps popping out, so we're doing okay. It's about half past two. I'd like to get packed up, uh, camped up no later than sort of like four o'clock. Um, and then we can sit and relax and uh, get some tea on, but uh, all good so far. Whoa, right, so finally got there. So we're at the summit of Melbrick now. A uh, little pile of rocks behind us, you can see us. There's a, the views from here are just incredible, I'll just spin you around. So that's looking down at uh, come up water and Buttermere. Well, come up water is under the thing, but that's Buttermere. In the distance, you've got Fleetwood Pike, Ronadale Knots, that little one there. I think this big one up here is Red Pike, but uh, let's double check. But just look at this, absolutely stunning. So I ain't missing about. There is a, uh, another summit at the far end but I think this is slightly high by about three meters which is right good deal because I don't fancy walking that but at least a mile over there and I've got really nothing again I think I've done it in the past anyhow so uh when I did went right so my next uh task is to find somewhere to pitch if we can find somewhere dry we're gonna get that tent up as sharp as we can and we're gonna get that drawn up um and then uh, we can get some uh fodder on and uh, get stuck in we've got a nice tea tonight uh, to show you so um yeah absolutely met up that I'm at the top of there now and uh, sun's just out well it's just glorious can't, can't say anymore it's just absolutely glorious uh, definitely one of my favorite parts at the district this i just love it so uh tents up uh, everything's uh, ready now we're just gonna get some food on it going in a moment but look at that just absolutely look at that how beautiful is that seriously gorgeous i just throw it drawn up for a uh, 10 minutes or so but uh you know what people keep going on about oh these cross poles wasted time scout ones you know, look at that look how taut that is it's worth carrying extra weight honestly i tell you you get inside and it's everything's nice and tight you know inners away from you and everything it gives you more space it is a bit of extra effort but it's definitely definitely worth it but yeah uh, i'm absolutely buzzing the only thing that's missing from this camp now is I could, I've could i never been right bothered this last few months uh, while I've been training for the London Marathon and not having a drink. There's been odd occasion, but tonight I could murder, murder. I wish I had my uh, uh, my, my blood transfusion bag and my plasma bag because I'd absolutely adore it sat here now. But uh, anyhow, we're going to have a great night nonetheless. But yeah, I'm getting ready now to, to get out, to have a drink. I can't wait uh, for that marathon to be over in some ways. So, so yeah, but uh, just look at that from a view, looking down at Bottom here and uh, Fleetwood Pike and uh, one or two others. So just uh, absolutely beautiful evening at Lake District tonight. I can't believe that I'm here. I'm absolutely loving it. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm in Trekology chair. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Just got a brew on, but this chair, Where's a kilo, but it's worth every every little bit of extra effort to get it up here when uh, you can sit outside now and it's warm enough to do so. Just absolutely fabulous. Uh, I'm gonna brew it, brew, and then we're gonna get that drawn up. But uh, yeah, loving it.
So there we go. Um, evening meal is served. We have got Guinness and um, prune uh, stew. And we've got uh, Jean Rubichon mashed potatoes and petit pois. Absolutely fan dabby dozy. Right, well, I've just finished uh, my evening meal. Absolutely fantastic, that. It's the first time I've ever made that stew. It's uh, Marco Pierre White, no, no surprise there. Absolutely fantastic. So, so lovely. Um, I don't know if, because uh, it's had Guinness in it, although I have burnt off the alcohol, it's its first al bit of alcoholic drink I've sort of had in anything. So um, maybe that's why I'm happy. I don't know, but it's really, really good. Uh, that way, mashed potatoes and peas. It's a lot of hard work, this bringing this fancy food up rather than dehydrated, but... I enjoy it so much more. I've just got to weigh up the uh, upsides against the downsides because obviously there is a, a downside in that there's an awful lot more weight to carry. Um, you know, I could simplify it a lot if I didn't do that. I went dehydrated and went for my light, lighter stove and everything. But anyhow, as we are, I really enjoyed it. So um, just a couple of things to tell you about Malbrek. Why do I like it? Well, I think Alfred Wainwright was the first one to sort of say it's like, it looks like an upside down boat. It's, it is quite a cone shaped uh, sort of object and um, a really, really, really prominent fell. And what I like about this part of the Lake District is it's where the lowlands starts to meet the, the, the hills. Um, so you've got the far agricultural and farming land and then you, you come into the hills. And also this side of the Lake District is a sight deal more quieter than, than um, for instance, Hellvelling Range and that type of thing. There's less people come over here. Although there has been a few on felt since even since I've uh, pitched up, so um, it's relatively busy around here, but nowhere near as busy as uh, as elsewhere. Um, so I thought I'd get you a few facts. So Melbrek, uh, the name is is derived from a source I think from Celtic meaning mole, which is bear hill, and um, I think that, I think the uh, uh, Vikings called it a uh, breker which also means hill slope. So obviously the, the slope is uh, uh, very mean and, and, and quite uh, a way of being described by lots of people. And they, there's also the low water fells. So the, the fells that surround low water, which include, um, they said it's like the, the digits of the palm of a hand and Melbrek is the thumb, uh, but you've got uh, Burbank fell, Blake fell, um, Gavel fell and Hen Coombe and uh, they're the fingers and obviously uh, Melbrek is in the thumb. But the other reason why I like it is obviously just at the bottom of Melbrek or a stone's throw away from the bottom of Melbrek is obviously the Kirk style inn. Which I think, depending on what time I get down tomorrow, Tito might just have a dabble at the Kirk style. It's just going to be a little bit difficult um, going there when I, uh, I can't have any loads of water, gold or Langdale. Two of the greatest um, ales in the world, by the way, only to be surpassed, I think, just by uh, uh, White Rat. But uh, that's just an opinion. But yeah, uh, so that's a, a few Mel Melbreck facts. Um, I'm going to settle down now and just uh, chill out. Um, oh, by the way, I don't know if I've shown you this. The show cup now, I've got it upgraded. We've got, uh, we've got Tito the Troller sort of markings on it now. But um, I've also got a fancy lid that stops it leaking. So that's uh, so that's good. It stops it spilling all over my tent. But I've got to say, these show mugs, these insulated mugs, even though, same again, they're a little bit more to carry than these... Um, collapsible mugs but they're um they're still very very light uh, but they they the way that they keep the drink hot hot for so long is just incredible so um that's definitely staying is that uh, absolutely fantastic buy so yeah so we're just going to relax now and uh, just uh, enjoy the evening um i'm absolutely loving it <laughs> Well, good morning everybody and uh oh it's got a bit blowy through tonight it's uh i'm glad i had cross poles on uh, to be honest with you but yeah it's uh, probably about i don't know half past five something like that so look don't see my watch yeah just after half past five so i had a fantastic night's sleep really woke up about one o'clock but got straight back off and then uh doze until at least five o'clock so i just got up now i just had some porridge and uh made myself a nice coffee and i'll tell you what i got on all is uh gary cook on last trip had one of these little hand warmers and this is uh lovely is this it just uh 
turn it on in the morning and obviously uh, just gives that a little bit of warmth which is nice uh, but yeah it's been a good trip um, I think plan of attack is going to be have another couple of hours and then we're going to uh, get packed up inside and then obviously uh, get a tent down and uh, get on his way down I think we're going to go the opposite way and the opposite way to where we came up and we'll go along Crummet Water um, along the edge of Crummet Water and then uh, go back to the car there I think it's going to be a slightly shorter walk so um, other thing I'm going to say to you and all is I haven't mentioned it yet but uh, massive 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 congratulations to Crossroads Village uh, they now have their own standalone Crossroads Parish Council so uh, we went through the governance review last year um, I had to get 450 signatures and convince everybody that it was a good idea. Genuinely believe it will be a good idea. Also think it'll be a good idea for Howarth and Stanbury. I think they'll benefit from it as well. But uh, uh, the other bit of good news is that the seven councillors who have stepped forward have, uh, have been elected uh, on, a, on what they call a, um, uncontested. So uh, there were seven seats and seven people have stood. So uh, we're up at full strength and we're ready to rock and roll on 4th of May. So all exciting stuff. Uh, we're fighting out on the crossroads in uh, trying to save the pub, so that's the the next challenge. Um, uh, but uh, I'm very very confident for crossroads going forward. It's going to be a lot of hard work, but it's going to be very rewarding as well. So yeah, that's my little uh, speech about crossroads. But uh, as you can hear it, uh, I'm glad I've got the crossbows on because it's uh, it's uh, uh, tense hardly moved, but it's uh, it's been quite blowy through tonight. So um, so we'll get packed up in a little while. Ah, one other thing, I forgot to mention it. So on uh, last uh, uh, camp I saw of uh, Chris JB, he mentioned uh, Vanilla Ice talking about Shergar. So I listened to this podcast, I think it's BBC podcast. Let Listen to it at home, absolutely fantastic. So um, I've got into this now. And the great thing about it is you can actually download them to your, your phone. So um, even if you haven't got a signal, which I haven't at the moment, I, I, you, can, uh, you can listen to stuff. So it's fantastic. So... Uh, I've been uh, listening to um, John Buchan's The 39 Steps and uh, very good it is so far. So, uh, yeah, I recommend these uh, BBC podcasts. Really, really excellent. Right, we're all packed up now. Um, got everything packed away nice and easy. Not too bad, a little bit of breeze, but it's actually calmed down since uh, earlier today. So, just quick look around and show you around. So, we've got grass more there. Coming down that little one there is uh, Ranadale Knots. Beautiful fleet with pike in the distance. Um, I'm not quite sure what they, uh, I think that big one behind it's a uh, red pike. So there's uh, lots of mountains to see. You should really know them all, but I've been up them all, that's all I can say to you. So, anyhow, another thing, right, is obviously, as always, leave no trace. And, um, I've come to the conclusion what what earth has done for me last night is it's let me have this little bit of land and it said there you go that's yours is that and all we ask of you is that when you leave that you leave it just as you found it and ready for the next person that wants to use it and I've done that so if I feel I feel like I fulfill my obligation and uh, I feel like I've treated the land with respect so we're all packed up now so we're going to um, get this pack on which should be lighter than yesterday but it still looks quite heavy and then uh, get down and you never know we might find a pub but uh, yeah all good stuff right we've uh, killed all the height uh, we're down back at the side of Crummet Water as you can see Crummet Fleetworth Pike looking majestic so yeah um, I've come, we're coming back opposite way, so like we went around the far side of it last time and this time we're coming near side and I'm going to walk along because I want to see what it's like to walk along the side of it because people are having picnics and it looked quite pleasant yesterday so I thought we'll go and have a look and then we could do a recce for, for a fancy having a picnic sometime maybe a glass of wine, that'd be nice side at, side at uh, lake on a quiet day but uh, yeah, uh, we're coming this way just to explore really but uh, that were a bit dodgy coming down there, it wasn't, it wasn't difficult or anything like that per, you know, per se but it was uh, a lot a bit bouldery and you know, lots of stuff to break your ankle on and uh, with London Marathon only a couple of weeks away, that, uh, I came down there quite gingerly and I'm feeling a little bit, I don't know, drained I just felt this, uh, just coming down I just felt a bit sort of weak, I don't know what 
and yeah, I'm sure I'll be fine but uh, but yeah I'm glad to get down and kill that height it's hard on your legs coming down as well I think that's part of the problem so you know I keep telling myself I keep keep forgetting that I only did a 30 mile training about two days ago so it's like you know it's not like uh, I've given myself much of a rest but it's been worth it so anyhow just a steady walk along the lake and then back to the car not long now right oh just got around the lake now and I'm walking back up through the woods uh, back to the car it's been an absolutely fantastic camp I've really really enjoyed it not sure it were what we required when I've got um, London Marathon to do but nonetheless uh, still very 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 enjoyable um, I love Malbrek, love this part of the Lake District um, so it's just good to get out but uh, I was a little bit scared of injuring myself and uh, anyhow thankfully I haven't so thank you as always for watching Tito the Trodler I hope you enjoyed this little uh, little journey um, and uh, I hope uh, you know if you like the video if you can give us a thumbs up and uh, if you want to if you can also subscribe but I'll leave that up to you guys but until next time all the best and take care bye bye